In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make seven 3D steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added seven different options along with the icon of uh, unique color with the shadow effect. Then you can add your step one along with the detailed text here. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. And from basic shapes, I'm going to select the diamond shape, draw the diamond holding the shift key, maybe this much size, then shape outline, make it no outline. And I'm going to give some light color here, then align center, align middle, then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the right triangle just draw the right triangle and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark colors so let me just reduce the size you can see here maybe this much size and then i can go to format rotate and i'm just going to say flip horizontal let me just zoom in and make sure that it is properly aligned here then i'm going to right mouse click edit points you can see here then just drag this up make sure it is properly aligned you can see something like this and this part also i'm just going to you can see here i can simply put maybe this much size again make sure that when you zoom in again edit point make sure that it is properly aligned to the center line otherwise we'll be having a problem with the alignment then so then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate go to format and just change some color to some dark color later on we can change the color then go to rotate i'm going to just say flip horizontal and just put it here you can see here something like this then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and give some different color here maybe somewhat lighter color you can see here and then i can just say flip vertical and just put it here and press ctrl d to duplicate this one a little bit darker color you can see here and this you can make it you can see a flip horizontal and put it something like this make sure that it is properly aligned so you end up getting with this shape so i'm going to select all or you can press ctrl a to select all the objects press ctrl g to group it you can see here and i can just bring it here and then press ctrl d to duplicate I'm just going to add it one like this press ctrl D sorry press ctrl D once again and just add it here and then ctrl D I'm just going to add this side here you can see here again ctrl D I'm going to add one here one more so you can see here our basic design is ready i can just select all press ctrl g to group it and then i'm just going to put it exactly in the center let me just go to view remove the guides now if you want to change some different colors if you want to give some shadows all those things you can give it here the next step is to add the icons to add the icons go to insert you can click on the icons remember that this feature is available only in the latest version and i have provided a complete uh, set of free icons uh, uh, on my channel you can just go and search and download it so let me just click the icons and i'm just going to randomly select some seven icons click on insert tab you can see here let me just move this one sorry let me just move this aside and then i'm just going to add one by one here so i want to give some shadow effect right mouse click go to format shape you can go here and you can give this shadow perspective upper left something like this you can see here and then 
I can just add one by one. Let me just put it here. It's almost similar. You can see here. So all these option I have added uh, the icons and then I can just go to home double click the format painter and just put it here so that I get the shadow for all these uh, icons and then I'm just going to select and I'm going to change the color you can go to format graphic fills and whichever color you like you can just change it so let me just give some different nice colors to each of the icons you can see here so whichever icon whichever color you feel better just add it you can see and maybe i can give this color and for this i can maybe i can give this green color now the last thing is just add the text go to text and just say maybe this is uh, step zero one i'm going to make it center align and font i'm going to use century gothic you can make it bold reduce the size you can see here and then i can go and just add the detail text here add your detail text here this also i'm just going to reduce the size change the font you can see here maybe lesser than this and then I'm going to select this, press Ctrl G to group it, Ctrl D to duplicate. Then this is the step two here, Ctrl D. This is the step, just add one by one, you can see here. This one, I'm just going to add it here. This one and the last one. Now it's easy, just go and change the numbers. This one will be two. This is three. This is step four five six and seven if you want you can add one more and make it eight also now it's for me it's easy i'm just going to select this on based on the color which i've selected i'm just going to change the font you can see here i'm just going to give the same font color which i've used for the icons so it's very simple you can just go and change one by one like this so let me just give this color also this one then i'm going to select this one with a purple color and this one with kind of a green color you can see here maybe this color so this is the simplest way you can add seven options infographic slide That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.